second uh, live scrimmage of practice. I guess that's 13 or 14 that we've had, and that was a very good showing out of the offense. It's really the first time we look like an offensive football team in uh, in a couple of weeks. So that's a lot of positive things there. We caught the ball better. Our protection was better. We ran the ball. We still held out our – today we held out our top four running backs, and we still moved the ball on the ground. But, uh, you know, we'll grade the quarterbacks, uh, you know, one, two, and three, and see how they did. We'll have another scrimmage on Saturday uh, in Nippert. So this will kind of go towards – who's going to play one, two, and three at quarterback on Saturday. But a little bit disappointed on, on the defense. Uh, looked like we were lethargic, and they usually play better than that, and we, we didn't tackle very well. But uh, it was good to see the offense uh, do something positive. But uh, we made some plays. Kicking game was uh, better than adequate with our, with our field goal kicker, and uh, I think he's getting better. So overall, it was a good day for the offense, not as good a day for the defense. When will you name a starting quarterback? Uh, probably first next week. Really? It could be as wait till the day before. The well, it could be could be as early as Sunday, but uh, it could be as late as Tuesday or Wednesday, just depending on you know how much work we get done Saturday. But we want to look at the whole body of work and what they've all done. And uh, again, this will this today will go a long way in terms of uh, you know their their total effort, but as much mentally as what they do physically. So. Uh, we get, we've got to name one pretty soon. So we'll go through Saturday and give them all an opportunity, fair opportunity with the ones, twos, and threes and see where we stand. In your mind, are you close to knowing who? Uh, I tell you what, it's, it's pretty much a toss up the way I look at it. Now, offensive coaches look at it a little bit different. They look at the technical side. I look at the leader side and, and just getting the job done. So, uh, but they'll have a lot more to say about it because we wouldn't want to go in the first game and just make a ton of mental mistakes. Mental preparation is going to be as much as anything else going in the first game. How does it affect the team when you go through this? I don't think it affects them much. I think it's good. I think it's good. They see there e there's even competition at the quarterback position as there, are, there is at most every other position. So I think it's healthy, but I think it's sooner or later, you know, we've got to get this thing going and, and uh, have the first team uh, working with the same quarterback, uh, you know, for at least six or seven practices. How does it affect you? Paul, you'd much rather have have somebody that stood out. That, uh, but you know, it's also good to know you got. I think that any three of these could could win ball games for us. Now, who can win the most? That's what we're looking for. Who's going to be the most consistent? But I think we're in a good situation. We've got three guys that I, we we feel like that we could pick any three of them and go into the season and win games.